I usually report the news, but this week you may have noticed I'm in the news because I'm suing Facebook for defamation. Because they simply lie about what I said in these two videos. Now, I don't like lawsuits. Before suing, I tried for a year to reach people at Facebook to try to fix things, but no one would. Normally, I wouldn't care. The internet is filled with lies. But this was Facebook. And Facebook was how I reached most of you. Not anymore, however, because now their missing context label not only smears me, it also means my content's being seen by fewer people. Many fewer, actually. 24 million people watch this video on Facebook. But after Facebook slapped its partly false label on it, views of all my videos dropped sharply. Fortunately, there are alternatives like YouTube. Now I get most of my views here. But losing Facebook was a big loss. Of course, Facebook's a private company. It can cut me off anytime it wants. But it does not have the right to just lie about me. The lie starts with Facebook's so-called fact checker, a group called Climate Feedback, run by this man. It posted this statement in quotes as if it were something I said. But I never said that. In my video arguing that government mismanagement fueled California's wildfires, I acknowledge that climate change plays a role. Climate change has made things worse. California's warmed three degrees over 50 years. So climate feedback uses a quote I never said. And based on that, Facebook restricts my views. We work with uh, a set of independent fact checkers. Facebook says I can appeal, but my appeal must go through climate feedback. I tried. I emailed the editor. She didn't respond. But two of the three scientists listed as their reviewers did agree to interviews. You're smearing me based on something I didn't say. Yeah, I mean, I've never commented on your article. That was a shock. He hadn't even seen my video. If this is implying that we have reviewed the video, then this is clearly wrong. There's something wrong with the system. This issue has become very political, uh, which is unfortunate. Zeke Hausfather is another climate feedback reviewer. He hadn't seen the video either. I certainly did not write a climate feedback piece reviewing your uh, segment. So we sent him a link and he watched it. Is that a fair label on the video that I did? I don't necessarily think so. You know, while there's plenty of debates around how much to emphasize forest management versus climate change, your piece clearly discussed that both were at fault here. After both reviewers admitted that Climate Feedback hadn't even shown them my video, Climate Feedback's editor finally responded to our emails. But they still wouldn't change their smear. Now, I've worked at NBC, CBS, ABC, and Fox. All would have fired me if I'd falsely attributed a quote. Yet Facebook won't even remove the quote. Bad as that mistake was, things then got worse. My most watched Facebook video is this one, asking if we're doomed because of climate change. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. My video suggests that we're not doomed, that we can adapt to rising sea levels by doing things like building dikes like Holland did. These three climate scientists invited climate alarmists to debate them, but not one would. Please come over here and sit next to that place and let's have a discussion. There are a lot more people want to hear what you have to say. Again, Climate Feedback got Facebook to label that video partly false. But what was false? My video said climate change is real. The alarmists have evidence that supports their fears. Temperature is rising. Still, Climate Feedback's director found scientists who disagreed with some of what I said. Only one would agree to be interviewed, Patrick Brown. What I took issue with was like the sea level claim. Brown didn't like that these scientists said that America can adjust to rising sea levels. You acknowledge that the water is rising. Yes, the water has been rising for approximately 20,000 years. To me, when I watch that video, what I hear is that sea levels have been rising at a pretty constant rate forever. It's very small, it's not a big deal, and we will, you know, adapt. That's not the mainstream view. Brown says sea levels could eventually rise 200 feet. But you're citing an extreme. If, I mean, obviously, if sea levels rose 200 feet, that would be a huge problem. 
but the IPCC doesn't consider that likely. I mean, I don't know if they assess sea level rise out to a thousand years, but that's what that's what I'm talking about. A thousand years. They censor me because of what might happen in a thousand years. My video also questioned the claim that hurricanes are getting stronger and stronger. The winds are getting harder and harder. No, they aren't. You can take a look at all the hurricanes that around the planet. We can see them since 1970 because we got global satellite coverage right. and we can measure their power and there is no significant increase whatsoever. Misleads viewers, said Vincent, but his own reviewer told me. And that's true. We don't see a, a change in hurricane frequency. That's consensus opinion. Yet Vincent still censors me for reporting it. I think that's wrong that, it, that uh, you were criticized for saying that. The IPCC, they don't claim that they're increasing. Later, Brown emailed us saying, the problem is omission of contextual information rather than facts being wrong. Oh, so their fact check wasn't about actual facts. Facebook lets climate feedback and what seems to be his parent group, Science Feedback, also founded by Vincent, censor lots of debates. They got Facebook to limit the reach of Michael Schellenberger, a Time Magazine hero of the environment after he wrote that climate change is happening, but it's not the end of the world. They smeared environmentalist Bjorn Lomberg when he cited peer-reviewed research suggesting that the warming climate by reducing deaths from cold actually saves lives. <coughs> they smeared former New York Times science writer John Tierney for writing that masking children can be harmful. And get this, Science Feedback was also the group that worked with Facebook to censor any content suggesting COVID was man-made. Only when President Biden ordered an investigation did Facebook finally allow people to discuss that. This censorship is bad. It's legal. Facebook can legally ban subjects or people. But it does not have a legal right to knowingly lie about what I say. That's defamation, and they need to stop. I hope my lawsuit will make them think twice about doing it again to me or anyone else. If you want to keep seeing our videos, please sign up for my email list. Just click that link there. We'll email you our new video every week. That way, we're not at the mercy of Facebook or any other social media company.